Hello everyone, this is Jeremiah, and have I got a good one for you today. Well, the other day I I was in Marshfield, and I, that's where I live, and uh, I went to this um, antique store and um, picked up some good buys, some good bargains there. So let me show you what I picked up at the antique store, and I, I think you'll really enjoy what I'm about to show you. One of the things I, I picked up, if you can see behind me here, this little uh, wooden hut, and I got this ship. Well, the first thing I want to show you is this amazing ship. Let me show you this ship. Look at this. I picked this up for fourteen ninety nine. Look at that. Look at the detail. Made of Pepsi cans. Can you imagine that? Look at that. Whoever did this deserves way more than fourteen ninety nine. I'd I'd pay I'd pay sixty seventy dollars for this. There's at least a hundred dollars worth of work here. Someone took some real talent and skill to put this together. Look at that. You can see all that. Look at that. I want to make sure you get a good view of this ship. I'm trying to hold it steady. Look at that. Beautifully done. Look at the artwork. Look at the threads. Look at the detail. And it's really, really cool. $14.99. And, and this is just so beautifully done. Not bad, huh? Now, when I was a little boy, I had a grandmother. She took... Uh, She um, she took some soda cans and made hats out of them. She had these yarns, right? She'd pull holes in the soda cans and she'd thread them together and make hats. She made hats out of soda pop cans. My grandmother did that when I was little. That's what that reminds me of is my grandmother. She had a skill set like that. <clears throat> and soda pop hats were popular back in the day. Let's see. I want to show you this hut. Now, this girl did not come with it. I uh, forgot where I got this. But it goes well with this um, hut. <clears throat> now, this is also $14.99. Should have been a lot more than that. It's worth way more than $14.99. This is probably worth $75, $80. Easily. <clears throat> it's handcrafted. This is something you can't get at Wally World. Look at that. Look at the craftsmanship. Look at that. Kind of like Lincoln Logs, right? Reminds me of Gilligan's Island. Did you remember when he, I used to watch Gilligan's Island? Wow, cold beer, beachcombers. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look at the detail on this. I'm just showing you. Oh, wow. It's really cool. All four sides are identical. But it is so cool. And this, I don't remember. I got her... I don't know where I picked her up at a yard sale. She, she, someone gave her. She came in a, pa a box of junk, and I just set her up as decor. But she goes good with this hut. Black version of Marianne from Gilligan's Island. She's a Hawaiian girl, an island girl. Goes good with this hut. Perfect, perfect match. Well, that was pretty cool. That was a good bargain. Nice decor for my YouTube videos. Anyway, what else did I pick up? Oh, I picked up these peanuts glasses. This is the peanuts gang. All together, 
I paid $54 for these glasses, the hot, and that ship. That's a pretty good bargain. Look at this. This is Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Look at these glasses. Linus. Here's the other one. These are cool glasses. Now, I have all of the um, Charlie Brown holiday specials on DVD. Like It's the Great Pumpkin, that's my favorite. The Thanksgiving one is my second favorite. Pretty cool. What do you think of that? That is neat. That is so awesome. Here's another one. What do you think? Cool, huh? Neato, huh? Swell. Wow. Not bad. And they came with this little tin thing. So I got a bargain for $54 total. That That's a real bargain. That's a real steal. That's a real find. Um, like I said, I grew up with Charlie Brown. I have all his specials on DVD, and I, I, I never get tired of watching them. I just don't. I, I love the, uh, especially the, the, the Great Pumpkin. Charlie Brown, all he gets is a rock, and Linus waits for the Great Pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. And he never comes. Ah, oh, poor Linus. Another one is the Thanksgiving one where Snoopy cooks up this Thanksgiving buffet of popcorn and sandwiches and it's 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 really cool. You can't ever get tired of watching uh, Snoopy and the gang. There's just something about it. It's their timeless classics and I I enjoy watching them and I just want to show you that some of the cool finds I got at an antique store. Sometimes you'll you'll go in there and there are things you just can't get at Wally World. Unique things. Like like I just showed you, you can't get this at Wally World. This is quality stuff. Handcrafted. These glasses, I collect glasses, by the way. I probably got a 70, 80 glasses from, like, the Muppets and Star Trek and Star Wars and Charlie Brown. And I got some Coca-Cola glasses, a couple of Bud Light glasses of, of all kinds. All kinds. Even Superman. I don't, I don't know. I... I got a whole bunch of them in there, and I don't, they're just from everywhere, and uh, every genre you can think of. I collect coffee mugs. That's another um, collection. I love my coffee, I love my cafe mocha, and uh, yeah, I love going to flea markets. I love it. My late wife and I enjoyed it. There's something about going in there that you're just going back in time before there was any woke nonsense and politics you could just step back in time and just forget about all the nonsense of the outside world and that's why i i go it uh, just it relaxes me and i enjoy it so i want to thank you for watching this video like i said I'm, I'm trying harder to keep them all under 10 minutes and now i'm shooting them all back to back this is the out of six five i've shot in a row getting ready to shoot number six and then that's probably the most difficult one to shoot because i had to do retakes on it um so the i'm gonna shoot others but they're more reviews than anything but uh i want to thank you for watching thank you for tuning in i can't believe i got five videos done in a row five of them done i'm really cranking out that content and that's what I intend to do. I intend to improve my content by keeping my videos shorter and covering current events. I got to get clicks. I have something to say about the current events that are happening. I can't run out of topics because every day some other BS is going on. So thanks for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, yeah. Comment below. Comment below. I want your comments. Like comment, subscribe, you know the routine. Every YouTuber asks you to do it. Thank you and bye-bye.